Last time, Lex used the Watchtower's big-ass cannon to destroy an advanced Cadmus base and cause widespread destruction of the surrounding city. Cadmus is responding by deploying Galatea and an army of Ultiman clones. Galatea is certainly pumped for the big fight, a chance to even the score after losing during the last matchup. She even gets a special remote access to control the Ultiman during the fight, a chance for these ruthless assailants to continue to spread their evil across... Nothing. Goodbye, Daddy. Oh, big happy family. I can't stay mad at you. Though that look on his face there. Suddenly all those erotic dreams feel wrong now. Back on the Watchtower, work is still underway to restore things after firing their Omega Mega Cannon. And on the surface, things are so tense that even though more bodies are going to be needed to help out, it just seems like sending more in is going to just terrorize these people more than they already are. Superman is disgusted with what has happened and calls an emergency meeting of the senior members who are on the station. Soups is feeling down. His gung-ho, punch-him-in-the-nuts attitude has been replaced with images of people suffering because of their own damn weapon. Even if they didn't fire it, they didn't adequately protect it. It sucks when you've been insisting that you're not the real threat only to see the smoking consequences of your actions. Wonder Woman suggests working with the authorities to prove their innocence, starting with dismantling their binary fusion cannon, and the founding members turning themselves into the authorities during the investigation. Now just to break the news to Batman. This is the single dumbest plan I've ever heard. Do you know why I've devoted my every waking moment to training body and mind to the limits of human achievement and my vast fortune to fight criminals in the streets? Because I have total confidence that the criminal justice system works perfectly. Ass. They say that it has to be all seven of them, and Batman says, well, good luck with finding a seventh then, dipshits, and hangs up. We're going to have to cover for him. Where's Batman? Running late. The Batmobile? It lost the wheel. The Joker got away. That's what I heard. Supergirl is annoyed with this whole situation, but Steel backs the play. De-escalating tensions is the best thing that they can do right now, and then they can find out the truth and try to fix everything. Right now, if they want to help out, then they need to tell everyone that the Justice League is not a threat, and that there's no need to respond to the Justice League out of fear. See, they're sending the missiles of thanks. It's a good omen. Steel sounds the alarm, but luckily, they're not high explosives. They're boarding parties. Unfortunately, the boarders are the ultimate. This means it's time for some super-powered throwing down. So while the battle begins, Batman breaks into Cadmus HQ. We've got business, Waller. I'm guessing he hasn't shown up here to turn himself in. Batman points out that only one person is capable of taking over that system remotely who wasn't on the watchtower when it happened. And Waller fills in the blank. Luthor. She figured that Luthor's agenda when supporting Cadmus was to help his bid for the presidency, revealing that she has made a dangerous mistake in assigning straightforward motivations to a man who is both a super genius and completely ruthless. Waller wouldn't normally drop the ball like that, but it shows her desperation, so focused upon the Justice League that she has lost sight of how a normal man can be a greater threat than all of them put together. But yeah, Battle Royale on the Watchtower. One of the Ultimate even goes after the unpowered members of the crew. Yeah! <laughs> that was not the reaction I was expecting. All right, everyone. We all laughed, but Batman made us practice anti-dinosaur kung fu two hours every week just in case this ever happened, and by God, we will not let that training go to waste. So yes, everyone is in on the fighting. Even Question bashes someone with a bedpan. Try not to think about the Watchtower bedpans too much for the sake of your own sanity. And Captain Adam fights on the Justice League side from his sickbed. But Supergirl discovers the unconscious body of Adam near the reactor room, which is just a taste of what she finds inside, 
Galatea roughing up steel. Which means we have the cousin of Superman finding the clone of the cousin of Superman, who is in reality an XP of the alternate universe cousin of Superman, beating up a guy who was inspired to be a hero by Superman in a reactor burned out by the number one enemy of Superman. Things would have been a lot easier if the Joker was involved, wouldn't it? So Supergirl attacks, but Galatea has clearly upped her game. Oh, they've gone with the hair pulling. Next up, the foxy boxing. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Uh-oh. What's wrong, hero? Not strong enough? Maybe that's because I'm the real hero here. Your Justice League is a bunch of dangerous loose cannons. Yeah, I wouldn't speak about having some cannons loose while wearing that outfit. Well, during this, Waller has realized that Batman was right. Luthor has been accessing their advanced technology and more than had the means to do this. So she tells Galatea that the mission is off, but Galatea doesn't want to stop beating up Supergirl. So she has, in fact, become the loose cannon, continuing a mission that has been scrubbed. But Supergirl gets the upper hand once the reactor finishes powering back up, frying her with enough electricity to power the state of California, or power a 1974 air conditioner for three minutes. Meanwhile, Lex is finishing his plan of making a new super body to put his consciousness into, but Batman already figured it out and is here. But he didn't anticipate that Luthor had already become superhuman, and while Batman puts up a good fight, he wasn't prepared for this. Damn, I never thought I'd say that. Batman is not prepared for this. That's like saying that Flash got a Charlie horse, or Green Lantern had a mind blank, or, or Wonder Woman didn't get into a pillow fight with She-Hulk. I mean, it's just unthinkable. Well, Waller shows up just as Luthor is about to do his mind transfer and melts down the new body. So Luthor responds by punching her. You know, for a super genius, he's doing a lot of problem solving by punching people in the face today. But Waller didn't come alone. She had the rest of the Founding League members released and brought here, who picked up Batman for the big climactic... You gotta be fucking kidding. I'd hoped to remain hidden until I could install myself into the android. But you forced my hand. Well, that's a bit of a wrinkle, isn't it? Next month, the story reaches its conclusion with Divided We Fall. <laughs> 